Buddy-based tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use BuddyBase, the low-code platform that lets you build, automate, and ship internal tools in minutes. BuddyBase is an open source platform that supports various data sources, components, workflows, and integrations. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create your account and explore the different features and functionalities. We will also show you how to create an app in BuddyBase. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using BuddyBase, the first step is to create an account. The sign-up process might seem a bit difficult at first, but don't worry, we have you covered. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on either the Start for Free or Sign Up for Free button. This will take you to a page where you can register for a new account. On the registration page, you have different options for signing up. You can use your Google account, Microsoft account, or sign up with your email address. Choose whichever option you prefer and follow the steps to create your account. After you've signed up, you'll need to provide some additional details about your company and set up your workspace. This information helps BuddyBase tailor your experience to your needs. Once you've provided these details, you'll be taken to your account dashboard. When you access your account dashboard, you'll notice its clean and user-friendly interface. The dashboard features a top menu. The menu contains important tabs, each tailored to specific functions that facilitate your app building journey. The Apps tab is a hub for all your created applications. If you've already built apps, this is where you can conveniently view and manage them. However, if you're just starting out and haven't crafted any apps yet, you can create a new app easily by clicking the Create New App button. Additionally, within this tab, you'll find access to templates through the View Templates segment, providing a convenient way to begin crafting your projects. In the Users tab, you have the ability to manage both individual users and groups. Within the Users section, you can take control over who has access to your published apps. This involves adding and regulating users, including the option to import existing ones. The users you add will be presented in a list format, along with details such as email addresses, roles, and the number of apps they can access. In the Groups section, you can easily give a bunch of users access to things all at once. But this feature is for users who have a premium account. If you want to use this feature, you need to upgrade your plan. The Plugins tab serves as a hub for managing your plugins. Here you can control the plugins associated with your account. This includes the option to incorporate your own custom data sources and components tailored to your specific needs. To integrate a new plugin, you simply need to click on the Add Plugin button. Moving on to the Settings tab, this area provides you with comprehensive control over the configuration of your account. Here you can manage various settings, authentication preferences, email configurations, organizational details, branding elements, and the environment within which you operate. The Settings tab offers a centralized space to customize your dashboard experience to align with your preferences and requirements. The Account tab is designed to manage and monitor your account-related information. This encompasses the ability to monitor your usage patterns, review audit logs to track activity, and even explore the option to upgrade your account to a premium membership level. The Account tab ensures that you have a clear overview of your account's status and activity, with opportunities to customize and elevate your account as needed. The Profile section is located at the top right corner of the dashboard. It provides direct access to personalization options. Here you can handle your personal profile, customize themes, update your password, view your API key, exit developer mode, and log out from your account. Now, let's see how to build an app in BuddyBase. To create an app in BuddyBase, you'll need to follow these simple steps. First, navigate to the top menu of the dashboard and click on the Apps tab. Once you've logged in this tab, a list of all the tabs you've previously built will be displayed. To start creating a new app, locate and click on the Create New App button. This action will redirect you to another page with a range of options for app creation. At this point, you have two primary ways to choose from. You can either start building your app from scratch, or you can utilize an existing pre-built template. If you opt to build your app from the ground up, simply click on the Start from Scratch button. Alternatively, if you prefer to work with a template, then choose a template from the available collection of templates provided. These templates are conveniently categorized and offer numerous choices to suit your needs. 
For this tutorial, let's scroll down and choose a template called Client Contact List. Hover over this template and you will see two options appear, Use Template and Details. Select the first option, Use Template, and proceed by clicking on it. A pop-up window will emerge. Enter the name of the app by replacing the default template name, which in this case is Client Contact List. Feel free to enter a new name and adjust the URL as desired. Once these modifications complete, then click on the Create App button. After that, you will be directed to the editor where you can further customize the newly created app to align with your preferences and requirements. Once you've entered the editor, you'll notice that the editor is divided into different sections. These sections are Data, Design, Automation, and Settings. Under the Data section, you have the ability to modify and manage the data within your app. In the context of our chosen Client Contact List app, the data fields could include email addresses, first names, last names, roles, and statuses. Within this section, you can not only make changes to existing data, but also introduce new fields and populate them with relevant information. For instance, if you wish to add a new table, navigate to the left side of the screen and click on the Add Source button. This action will lead you to a page offering various options to enhance your template. Since we're aiming to create a new table, select the Create New Table option. Following this, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enter the table's name. So, enter the name of the table and then click on the Create button. After this, you will see that the table will now be created. Once the table is created, it will be empty. To begin adding columns to it, click on the plus icon. A pop-up window will emerge, allowing you to input details for each column. Specify the column name, set the maximum length, and toggle the required option on or off based on the column's necessity. After making these selections, click on Save to add the column. The column will now be added to the table. You can repeat this process to create as many columns as needed. Once the columns are created, simply click on each of the columns to input relevant data, such as emails, phone numbers, and roles. Moreover, you have the option to enhance your table's functionality by incorporating filters, sorting mechanisms, and column visibility adjustments. These features can be accessed at the top of the table, providing you with greater control over the presentation and manipulation of your data. In the Design section, you can reshape the visual appeal and layout of your app. Within this section, the left panel provides a range of options to facilitate this customization. Firstly, you can manage screens, allowing modification to existing screens or the addition of new ones. Secondly, the management of components offers the ability to handle both existing and newly added components. Thirdly, you can tailor the app's theme to align with your vision. Finally, you can modify and customize the navigation layout. Moving on to the Automation section, this is where you can integrate automation features into your app, enhancing its functionality and user experience. The Settings area grants you control over various configurations, including automation history, backups, embedding options, export settings, app name and URL, versioning, and the option to delete the app if needed. Once you have customized the app and transformed it into your unique app, it's time to preview it. Head to the top right corner and click on the preview option to experience the app from a user's perspective. If you're satisfied with the results, take the next step by clicking on Publish. A pop-up window will appear, allowing you to adjust the app's link as desired. Once the link is modified, proceed to click the Publish button, officially launching your app online and making it accessible to users. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using BuddyBase. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.